Have you ever wondered how dogs can hear so well? How they can literally hear you opening a packet of food from about a mile away. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Well, on today's episode of Buddy the Borrow, that's just what we're going to do. We're going to take a look at the dog's hearing and find out just what makes them so scared of loud noises and things like fireworks. Yeah, if you're looking to find happiness where you ain't gotta look no more Check the YouTube channel, look for Buddy the Borador Now you already may know this, but dog's hearing is much better than us humans <coughs> Our hearing can detect pictures up to 20,000 hertz, whilst dogs on the other hand 45,000 Buddy, I lay down on the floor because I could get you in the shot and now you've stood up It's alright, just show your legs off, just show your legs off Oh yeah now, dogs are not actually born with the ability to hear. Amazingly, they're actually born deaf. Once a dog has fully developed its sensitivity to sound, it can actually pick up changes of pitch between notes. Oh! This, of course, explains why most dogs will actually leave the room when the vacuum gets turned on. Go on, you're meant to look happy. Happy smiles. Now, certain breeds are actually more sensitive to sound than others. <laughs> Dog breeds like the Border Collie have actually evolved to rely on sound to actually do their job properly. A dog breed Buddy here is actually crossed with. Borodo, Border Collie, Labrador. Do you hear that, Buddy? You might not be good at listening. What an absolute load of. Farmers need to rely upon Border Collies to hear sounds from far away whilst they're herding things like sheep. Thus how the breed has evolved to hear things like whistles and spoken commands from a larger distance. Some dogs are actually unable to filter between active and passive listening. Active listening is the act of focusing one's hearing on a particular sound. Passive hearing is when there's a noise in the background but you actually don't listen to it. So the brain doesn't focus on it. That could be the radio in the background. If it's in the kitchen or something like that so just so the brain doesn't actually focus on that particular sound. Dogs that are unable to filter between these two can actually develop noise phobia. In 2015 a study found that dogs that were a lot more afraid of noises were more likely to show signs of things like separation, anxiety and fearful of new situations. Something that Buddy does show, don't you Buddy? They also took longer to recover from a stressful event. Like bath time for most dogs, unless you're Buddy. Slam dog! Oh, did you miss it? Studies have also found that desensitizing puppies to sounds like thunderstorms, fireworks and vacuums from a young age can actually really help reduce noise phobia later on in their lives. I'm not sure if I like the idea of shoving firework sounds on to dogs when they're uh, puppies. It sounds a bit like... There you go, I'll lie down now and you stand up and do the rest of the episode. Go on, take it away. Okay, we're gonna play some sounds for Buddy on my phone and see how he reacts. One of his favourite ones is seagulls because he chases them around the field all the time. So let's see how he reacts to that first. <laughs> Good boy. Next up, fireworks. Let's see how he reacts to that. It appears he would rather lick his bum hole than listen to firework sounds. Buddy, mate, we're on camera here, man. How we? Buddy! He's actually licking his bum as well. That's disgusting. Now, my nana and granda have loads of cats, so he's normally used to cats meowing, but I'm going to put that on and see how he reacts to cats meowing. Here we go. Oh great, a pregnancy yeah, test advert. Pregnancy test <laughs> okay, I think that's enough of the sounds for now. Thanks a lot for watching today's episode of Buddy the Borrador. Question of the day is, what sound does your dog not like? Let us know in the comment section below and we will see you on the next episode of Buddy the Borrador. Thanks a lot guys, see you later, bye! Yeah, if you're looking to find happiness where you ain't gotta look no more, check the YouTube channel, look for Buddy the Borador. Dog training tips I know you can use, even sell dog toys and product reviews. Welcome to the channel where you know we keep it live. Buddy's here to make you smile, you just gotta subscribe for all your dog needs and they never skip a beat. Consider this a treat, this is really all you need. Hey, Buddy the Borador, uh, come on, Buddy the Borador.